Uh, tell us, tell me your name and spell it for me so we don't get it wrong. Okay. I'm Susan Johnson. S U S A N. This is too simple. J O H N S O N. And title. I'm Associate Dean in the College of Sciences and Humanities here at Ball State. Okay. Um, how did, why did you begin, develop this particular program? There must have been some assumptions on your part early on that it was needed in the primary grades. Well, the program was started within the context of, of the national scene. Um, the Congress is very concerned about the lack of preparation in science and technology of lots of our citizens. Um, as we look ahead to so many of the problems that we face as, as a nation and in communities, so many of them, you, you take off things like like pollution, for instance, and water supply, air quality, and they, they're problems that relate back to science and technology. And so we need citizens who have a feeling for scientific literacy. Um, and so this is a program which has been funded by the National Science Foundation, as well as the Indiana Commission for Higher Education, to increase the quality and quantity of science experiences that that people have from the early grades. Um, there's fairly significant research which shows that by the third grade, people know if they like science or not, and if science might be in their future. Um, we're we're not planning to produce to turn everybody into a scientist. Um, but everybody needs some basic skills which help them to understand the world around them better. Why does this program do it better? This is a program which assumes that we're going to start by having students observe real things, real phenomena, and then try to find out how we can explain those phenomena. And so we've got students who are, who are engaged in manipulating materials in saying, I wonder what happens if we change this system this way or that, and they're able to find answers. Um, it's, it's just sort of um, addictive almost. Um, we, have, we have students who will, um, who will come to school in the morning and say to their teacher, are we doing science today? And if the teacher says no, They'll go, oh. Um, and we have other, other parents who will call and say, my child can't come to school today. I hope you're not doing science because my student is very upset that, that he or she might miss this. Um, one of the things that happens is that um, girls feel that they can do science as well. Um, I'm thinking about talking with one of our first grade teachers who was saying that at the end of the year she asked her children what they wanted to be when they grew up and a lot of the little girls said I'm going to be a scientist when I grow up and you know in in our culture we haven't encouraged that but the the sorts of critical thinking skills and problem-solving skills um, ability to make observations and predictions to make careful measurements that are part of what we're teaching are, thing, are skills that are important for all of our youngsters, not just one, one proportion of them. The way science is taught now, Susan, how does this program differ than what would normally be expected to, to be in the schools? Well, often we've, in the lower grades, we've modeled science teaching after a college model. At the college level, a, a lot of science teaching is done in a lecture format, which is then complemented by a formal laboratory component. Lecturing to third graders doesn't work. Um, and But engaging them by starting with the materials and letting them have concrete experiences does work. And it, it results in long-term retention of the of the material as well as tremendous motivation to know more about it. 
So what's your success rate right now? It's, it, the program seems to be in a number of school corporations. It is. Um, during this project, we've been working with, with East Allen Community Schools, Northwest Allen Schools, Huntington County, Northern Wells, Northern Adams, um, a number of the schools from the Fort Wayne South Bend Catholic Diocese, as well as Woodburn Lutheran School, and the Lutheran School in Warsaw. So we've we've had a chance for um, for a lot of, of youngsters to be impacted by this. Is this a test for the program at this point? I mean, are you testing it out, or is it just that you've you've been able to train this group, particular group of teachers, and you're going and your project is going to move on to other school corporations? Well, the teachers with whom we've been working. Um, and this includes about 80 teachers from about 40 schools, um, are really leadership teachers. They've been with this project for three years, and they really know how to teach science to children. And they are at a position where they are planning workshops for their colleagues and are, are helping their colleagues learn how to do this as well. Um, we would like very much to to include other schools in future plans. What's it going to take? I mean, are, is, it, is it the teachers going to encourage other teachers to get excited about it and they're going to make the inquiry? Or is Ball State going to initiate a kind of a marketing program to, to help other schools become involved? Well, one of the things that, that we've been doing is working with teachers from Fort Wayne Community Schools. Um, our original work with elementary science was with the Fort Wayne Community Schools, and there are, are many Fort Wayne Community School teachers who are highly skilled at science teaching at this point. And during this project, those teachers served as leaders to help the teachers from sort of surrounding school corporations who at the time were, were more naive to sciencing. And so it, it, it very much takes a teacher-to-teacher -teacher training and sharing to go on. So it's more than uh, advertising that we have this new program, sending them a teacher's manual and a, and a, and a textbook. Yes. And it's much more than that. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it really involves a new way of thinking about science teaching. Um, it means being willing to take the textbook and use it not so much as the dictator of, of what will be done day by day, but as a resource which is used by the professional teacher. And so that's what we've been working toward. Um, we, we have such talented and dedicated teachers in our schools, and, and some of them have not picked up the science background and have not been exposed to this way of thinking about science teaching. Hello. <laughs> that will be answered out, okay, out there. Okay, that was it great. It just that, that, was, that was great. Um, I'm happy with that.